everyone, I'm Fo, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a $20 wash day inspired by the 30 day hair detox. Before I hop into the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Now, let's hop into things. So, um, this video is for people that are interested in doing the 30 day hair detox. And what is the 30 day hair detox? It is a challenge that was created, I believe, around five years ago by Elise and Aisha, two stylists. Of black girl curls it was created in order to encourage uh, naturals to participate in simpler hair care um, so I know that I'll paraphrase at least she described it as an elimination diet so um, and I'll leave the video below where she discusses where both of them discuss the 30-day hair detox so in order to do the 30-day um, hair detox and this is my understanding as a consumer um, you're supposed to forego any um, shea butter coconut oil or castor oil in the top five ingredients of hair products as well as not use any eco styler and also my understanding um, you're not supposed to use any raw um, uh, oils or butters so raw as in um, purchasing olive oil from the grocery store in order to cook with uh, using that type of olive oil in your hair or raw shea butter like the block of um, pure shea butter that we use to moisturize our bodies oftentimes not using that in your hair for 30 days so one of the first things that I noticed when I got into the digital services of Elise and Aisha I did do one month of the digital salon um, is that I wasn't told to throw away the products that I already had I was in, instead encouraged to use what I had um, until I could purchase things that fit my lifestyle and were also better for the health and, and integrity of my hair. So um, that's basically what inspired me to do this video to encourage people and let them know um, that there's a possibility that they already have what they need in order to start a 30 day hair detox. Let's hop into the shower. Quick disclaimer, this video is not a tutorial. And I'm by no means implying that you need to purchase any of these products. None of these products are my recommendations for your hair. That will be irresponsible for me to recommend anything for your hair. This video is for inspiration. This video is for fun. And I hope that it inspires. I selected products that do not contain shea butter, coconut oil, or castor oil in the top five ingredients. I also am not using Eco Styler. Some of these products do contain oils higher up, but not in a way that is considered um, unacceptable by the 30 day hair detox standards. So after fully saturating my hair with water, I'm going to go in with the Cantu Flaxseed Smoothing Shampoo. So I'm going to make sure to apply this shampoo from roots to ends on all of my hair because I want all of my hair to be cleaned. I'm also going to be smoothing the shampoo and smoothing my hair outward or downward. I'm not going to be bunching my hair together which could cause tangles. I'm also going to take the pads of my fingers, not my nails, and rub my scalp to help break up some of the debris on my scalp and help remove that from my hair. So how I selected this shampoo, why I selected this shampoo. I selected this shampoo because based on the formulation, I read the formulation and I felt like this would be an okay shampoo for temporary use to use every seven to 10 days. If I didn't have an understanding or my base level understanding of formulations, then what I would do is look at the front of the bottle and the shampoo says that it removes heavy buildup, leaving curls soft. So I would know based on that description that this is possibly a shampoo that can be used every seven to 10 days, or maybe it is a stronger shampoo that is more for occasional use while you use a different shampoo that is not as strong on a regular basis. So based on the experience that I would have with the shampoo, is the shampoo tightly tangling my hair or something like that? That could be an indication that the shampoo could be is too strong for use every seven to 10 days if I didn't understand formulations. So now I've rinsed the shampoo out and I'm going in with the Cantu Flaxseed Smoothing Leave-In or Rinse Out Conditioner. Now once again, I selected this conditioner based on the formulation. I didn't see any heavy strengthening ingredients or anything like that that I don't need 
because I don't have hair color and I don't have a chemical service. So neither the shampoo or the conditioner needed to be heavy strengthening products. But also, if I, if I didn't understand formulations, I can look at the front of the bottle and the product says it repairs and restores leaving curls soft, which could be a little bit confusing. This product could either be a product that helps uh, kind of balance the hair. It's a very balanced formulation and helps with um, the moisture of the hair and things like that. Or because it says repairs, this could possibly be a product that's quite strengthening. But upon use, if this product doesn't cause my hair to feel very um, tangly or hard or inflexible, uh, with one use or continue and after continued use, if it doesn't have that feeling, then I know that this is likely not a strong conditioner in terms of strengthening and it can be used on a regular basis. Let me know if you have any questions about my explanation. So at this point, I have uh, sectioned my hair off and I'm finger detangling. I've applied more conditioner and now after finger detangling, I'm going to go in with my comb, my wide tooth comb. I've gone through the ends and I've detangled the whole entire section and I'm going to twist it up and put it away so I can detangle the rest of the sections of my hair. So now I've detangled all the sections of my hair and I'm going to rinse all of the conditioner out. I'm going to make sure not to leave any of it in my hair um, because I don't want anything that could impede or interrupt the uh, styling product working to the best of its ability in my hair. So this is my hair without the conditioner. I'm also observing it. I don't feel any extreme hardness or anything like that. So that lets me know, at least for this time, this conditioner is okay for uh, continued use. Now I'm going in with the Cantu Flaxseed Smoothing Cream Gel um, that I just showed you all. I'm rubbing it in from edges to ends, and then I'm also going to put it on the ends of my hair. My hair is still soaking wet. I have not towel dried it. So now I put my hair in sections. My hair is still soaking wet, but I'm not gonna add any additional water. I'm gonna apply the cream gel to a section of my hair until I feel more of the texture of the cream gel than the texture of my hair. After I have that feeling, I'm gonna abruptly stop applying the cream gel because I don't wanna cause product buildup or flaking. So I'm working it through, I'm smoothing and raking it through. And I selected this cream gel um, because I looked at the formulation and this is a cream with actual holding ingredients. It has actual polymers to help hold my hair in place. But if I couldn't read the formulation, I would simply look at the front of the product and it says cream gel. So I know it's likely something that would have hold as opposed to a lot of the creams that are marketed to natural hair that have very little to no hold. Um, another thing to consider, um, this product did not need a leave-in conditioner, and I knew that based on the formulation. But I also could take a look at the claims of the product, and it says that it's moisturizing as well as it helps with hold. So I can take it for its word if I didn't understand formulations and give it a try and see how it worked with the application on my hair with no leave-in conditioner. So this is my hair fully styled with the product. And then I'm gonna go sit underneath the dryer for 45 minutes uh, on the six to five or C for heat setting. So yeah, this is my day two hair. I apologize that I didn't get day one hair. I was really tired and I forgot. I'm so sorry you guys, but this is day two hair the next day with the Cantu uh, Flaxseed Smoothing Cream Gel in my hair. You see that the cream gel had a little bit of a difficult time defining the tighter areas or the coarse and coarser areas of my hair. And this is day three with the Cantu Flaxseed Smoothing Cream Gel in my hair. I also worked out the day before. So I did work out. And so this is my hair after I worked out with the cream gel in my hair. I also want to make sure to say that um, the first day I styled my hair with the cream gel, I did have what's called a cast, or the holding ingredients in the cream gel did cause my hair to feel slightly harder, but that's what they're supposed to do in order to create hold. I did not try to scrunch that out 
or rustle that out or try to make my hair softer because what that would do is cause my hair to be frizzier faster. So I accepted the cast and, and over the days the cast softened and my hair softened up. Takeaway is I hope that you all noticed that with each product I was explaining um, how I selected it, why I selected it, and how I'm going to use it. And so that is extremely important. Oftentimes um, in the natural hair community, the first thing that we worry about is what products am I going to buy? What products am I going to buy? What products am I going to buy? And some of us don't know the proper way to shampoo our hair. We don't know the proper way to detangle our hair. We don't know the proper way to condition. And we don't know how the proper way to apply product and what to apply to um, achieve the styles that we want. So we end up buying a lot of products and wasting a lot of our money. And that's where I encourage people, um, if they want to, to partner with a professional. And I'm not saying partner with someone just because they say that they specialize in a certain type of hair care or they have their license. I'm saying partner with someone who you've effectively screened to make sure they meet your standards in terms of the pictures that they have of their previous work and also the reviews that they have. Both of those things together, the pictures and the reviews. Also, you screen their services to make, make sure that what they offer accommodates your needs. Professional, and if they are in the position to, if they have the privilege to, I encourage people to partner with a professional and I will leave some resources below. That partnership can be a subscription where you sign up for maybe some virtual services and you have access to stylists to maybe 30 days or so. Um, so that partnership can be that where someone you can tap into their knowledge and they can tell you what products to use, why you should use them and how to use them instead of um, things just be being a whole bunch of chaos and a bunch of unnecessary trial and error. And also something that can be really helpful with an adequate professional um, is they'll be able to tell you products that are within your price range that can help you uh, make better maintain the integrity of your hair. So um, there's that. Something also co to consider. Oh, and before, before I go any further, let me say this. I do not have the Cantu products in my hair right now. I have already washed them out. And the reason why I washed them out is because my husband, he wasn't really feeling the smell. Um, I did go ahead and I rinsed those products out. So that's just full transparency. But, um, the second thing that I hope that you all pick up on with the Cantu products and why my hair was able to look the way that it did when I had those products in is my hair is extremely healthy. So my hair is in good condition. Um, I've been following healthy hair care practices since December 2019. So that impacts the look of my hair. Um, the second thing that you have to take into consideration about why my hair looks so nice is because I do have a curly cut. So a curly cut is a cut that you get while your hair is um, defined. Well, for me, a curly cut is something that I get while my hair is defined and they go in and they cut it, not when it's blow dried, not when it's straightened, but while it's in its curly shape. And that's what gives my hair this, um, this look. So that contributes to how nice my hair can turn out with different styling products. And I want to make sure to say this, um, a curly cut is an investment. It is an investment and a curly cut is inaccessible to a lot of people. So um, I'm going to make sure to say that a curly cut is not a necessity for healthy hair. Um, I do not have to have this shape in order to have healthy hair. I can go and get a shampoo, a blow dry and a trim from a stylist that I trust and that I can see they have the receipts. They have good results um, on the other clients when I look at their pictures and things like that and my hair be just as healthy, but will it have um, this nice shape that I enjoy? It likely won't. Can I use these products long term? Will I use these Cantu products long term? No, I won't. And the reason why I wouldn't use uh, these Cantu products long term is because of my, um, my asthma, my allergies. I do have allergic asthma and I don't want to play around when it comes to fragrances and products. So, I know that I'm not the only person that has black person that has allergies and asthma. And so I know that higher quality products are not accessible to a lot of um, black people. And I will be discussing the price of curly cuts as well as the price of higher quality products in an upcoming video. So if you have any 
ideas, any questions, any comments about that, please leave them below and we can chat about that. But ultimately, what would I do if this is what I had to use? I would continue to use them and I would partner with a professional if I'm able to in a way that I could partner with them, whether that be virtually or whether that be in person. And I would let them know, hey, um, I'm using this. What can I move towards? And, you know, and I, I let them know that I am working. Well, I let them know the budget that I'm working with and I will go from there. That is what I would do if the Cantu products are what I had to use. Um, what I what do I think personally is the ultimate issue with those products besides how they would imp they could impact my health. I also think that those products would cause product buildup. So I think that the shampoo, the conditioner, the styling product, I think that they would leave things behind on my hair that in the long in the long run would eventually cause my hair to be very frizzy because um, the product buildup would leave a layer on my hair. And then when I apply the styling product, the styling product wouldn't be able to grip my strands as well. And the style wouldn't look as good. And there's a possibility that that product buildup could also contribute to my hair being dry. Of course, I could use a stronger shampoo, um, but then I would turn around and go back to using the same products. And I'm not sure how quickly um, these Cantu products will cause buildup on my hair in particular, um, especially because my hair has such a low tolerance for buildup. Hope that this video was helpful. Please leave any questions, comments, or anything like that below. Um, once again, thanks for watching. My name is Fo. Bye-bye.